we go back to the previous story. Groups across the country have thrown their weight behind the candidacy of Vice President Yemi Oshibajo as a presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the 2023 general elections. The groups under the aegis of the Progressive Project, TPP, aims at garnering support for Professor Oshibajo as the next president of Nigeria. The report is presented from our studios. It is a gathering of like minds whose sole objective is to ensure that come 2023, Nigeria's second-in-command Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbajo succeeds his principal president, Muhammad Bari. We are also suggesting to this gathering that we'll be very happy, we'll be very, very happy if each and every one of us is carried along. We have to go back to our states to make sure that all the state, uh, state uh, stakeholders we have to follow them one after the other that can pass for our principal. At level, at the grassroots level, we are doing a lot. What peculiar thing with our people is this. What you present to them and the facts they see on ground, they work with that facts. Representatives of the convening group say the Vice President Oshimbaju has the pedigree to lead and deliver the dividends of democracy to Nigerians. What we are selling, what the Progressive Project is selling, is the personality of the vice president. We need to first of all identify that. The vice president has its personality that is unique, that everybody on the streets identify with him. So why don't we come up and say this man is good enough for the job? I have no doubt. It's about Nigerians' decisions. It has gotten to that point. 2023 will be a new, a new, a new, a new race. And Yemi Osibanjo, from his ordinary lifestyle has shown that he has physical and spiritual contentment and um, when you have somebody who shows such tendencies now it is only with that ideas coming because the person will listen the unique selling point for the vice president is his brilliance gentlemanness man of God. And if you look at the situation in the country today, those are the things we lack. Uh, uh, Professor Sibajo is not somebody one will see ahead and say, no, this man I will not key into from the beginning. We decided to key into him because he is like a gift that uh, God has given to Nigeria. He has always been going through different uh, levels of baking right from the state through up to his position now. And from everything we have seen around him, from his credentials, from his vitae, we know that yes, this man is really an asset to Nigeria. The atmosphere is already being charged up with political gladiators from the two main political parties positioning themselves for a showdown on who occupies Asorok, the country's highest seat of power in 2023. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.